But right now, the lab's free event is happening, which is both for PMCs and scabs. You're gonna have much fun going into labs as a player scab because this never happens in normal race and normal period of white. But whenever you're playing as a player scab, some of you guys might have some problems distinguishing the scabs and PMCs and also there are some notorious PMCs who tries to look like a scab. For instance, I got it here right now. I'll tell you guys how to distinguish the scabs and the PMCs. Not the obvious ones, like if the PMC is super geared then you can see it directly or if he has like the um, armband and you can like literally see through right away. Check those two stuffs in general. Actually, you can even forget about that and then just listen to the part where I talk about. There are like certain points that you can distinguish them li right away. I'll show you guys the example with PMC trying to blend into our scab party we had. Okay. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. What's this extract uh, called? Just elevator? I think it's the medical uh, block, okay. yeah. Yeah, okay. Isn't this guy a bear? This guy looks like a bear, doesn't he? Dude, no. He's a bear, dude. He was like completely fooling us. <laughs> Bro, wait, what just happened? What? This guy's bear. Look at his dog tag. Come here. Look at his dog tag. Oh, like, wow. When you so see mean, when when you see your gloves, like or gloves or like oh, come on. Maybe he got angry that I got the kill? I I don't get it. <laughs> Some people are stupid, or maybe I guess he was just like yelling me for fun. I think it was that. So I will quickly tell you how to distinguish on this situation based on this example if he was a PMC or a scav. And then I'll talk about a little bit more in detail how you distinguish them in general. Like if you look at it, it usually it sticks on your onto your skin. Skin tight, yeah, thank you. Skin tight. And also they have like the gun holsters usually. Scabs don't have that that much. Some, like little, little amount of scabs have that, little amount of scabs. Also check their boots too. They have boots of soldier boots, usually, the PMCs. Oh, bear, but scabs, dude. scabs barely have like the boots for the rain boots. So we can compare right here on this screen. Uh, from the top, we can check. Uh, usually, it's, there's a preset of a face of a scab, which kind of looks goofy and junky, weak. And PMCs try to tend, try to look like they're cool or determined. That's like a quick part that you can check. And also, secondly, usually scabs have like a raincoat. They have really bright colors on their top, like yellow, red, blue. Whereas PMCs usually wear a cleaner outfit. So if you see here, like these kind of stuffs. It's a lot cleaner. This one is the one I usually use to disguise as a scab because it looks a little bit dirty and it looks like a raincoat. Or a lot of people are using this one because there's an actual outfit that scabs have in the blue color. And also there's a bunch of like other outfits too. PMCs are gonna have sleeves up or skin tight upper wears. But usually they are really clean. So the biggest difference I can tell you is that PMCs usually have clean outfit on the upper body whereas scabs will have a little bit dirty looking outfit. It's overall like that. Also the, if, you, if you check out the um, trousers, PMCs have a really clean trousers. Especially, you gotta check this part, the gun holster. Scabs rarely have a gun holster, pistol holster. There's only a couple of them. Usually they all have no holsters on their legs. All PMC outfits tend to have, as you can see for the USAC, I'm pretty sure Barry is like that too. They all have the holsters. And also you gotta check the knee pads. Usually scabs don't have a knee pad. As you can see here on the bunch of dead bodies and also yeah, as you can see all these scabs with no knee pad, no knee pad, no knee pad. Also this guy who's coming over to us. No knee pads and also no pistol holsters. But the PMCs will have a pistol holster or a knee pad. And secondly is the boots. Boots. Because PMCs tend to have a really clean boots for almost any outfits. And they kind of have like sneakers, should I say? Like the running shoes. But scabs usually have the dirty boots. Or sometimes they have like sandals. 
It's actually pretty good to check their gloves too. Usually PMCs have really nice gloves, but scavs have really rusty gloves, worn out gloves, or bandages, bare hands, or vibrant gloves. So I'll summarize into five things. Number one, gotta check the holster and the knee pads. Number two, the boots dirty or clean or sandals. Number three, the upper part outfit. If it's a raincoat or a bright bright color, if it's bright color, very high chance of a scab. And number four, the face asset. Number five, the gloves. The shitty gloves are gonna be the scabs ones and the clean and nice looking gloves are gonna be PMCs. All right, so that's all for how to distinguish between scabs and PMC. If you guys have any more tips and tricks that you guys know of, please do comment. Rather than that, I'll talk about distinguishing the Raiders and a Scab real quick. Because the Raiders are actually a nuisance right now in race. Thinking that some people are thinking that they look like Scabs. Raider is going to be a little bit difficult, but they're definitely a lot more geared than Scabs. And they usually have MP5 or modded out SKS, or modded out AKs, RFB. So Raiders usually have with some gears, which is kind of typical for the Raiders in labs. And also their voice line is USEC or Bear. It used to be only those two, but they also added like scab voice line, which is really annoying. But it also fits the lore. The, the lore says those are XPMCs and also maybe some scabs also join the forces. But anyway, it's a little bit different from the rogues because the rogues don't have scab boy signs right now. Maybe they'll add later. Oh yeah, and just a quick another note. AI scabs won't back you up while you're fighting the raiders. Be careful if you're engaging with the raiders because AI scabs can just jump into middle of the raid, middle of the fight, and then you you were trying to shoot the raider and you accidentally hit the AI scab and you become a traitor, which is really annoying also. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope this info helped you scabbing with confidence. Also, do check out my stream. I'm definitely going to stream today and until this event ends, I'm, I think I'm going to stream. I hope this event lasts for a week. Last time, whenever we had similar event, it didn't last that long. And also, recently, the event term was usually like really short, three to four days. And then they, they removed the possibility of spawning and then just let the task be there. Anyways, if you guys like this kind of content, please hit that like button and then also comment. And if you guys want to support me a little bit more, check out the Patreon and the Super Thanks and the membership in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.